Right Reverend Metropolita Tirmeni, respected MLA Advocate Matthew T. Thomas, dear Geeta teacher, and to the entire Nicholson family and all the well wishers of the Sabha as well as Tirwala who have come here today. We've all gathered here to celebrate the entry of our dear children into our own family here today. So let's all welcome them with a huge round of applause. <laughs> this gathering here today is beyond an act of kindness and a show of care. It's in fact a celebration of the 30 beautiful girls that each one of you are. <laughs> so we are extremely glad and we are extremely grateful for having you all amongst us here today. I don't say it just as a token, but I mean what I say because this is what I have been taught through the various ways of blessings that I have received in my life. There many I remember when I had joined CMC Velour. After a few months of being there, the then director of uh, CMC, who met my parents when they came visiting me there, obviously I was staying away from home for the first time in my life when I joined MBBS. Till that point, I was completely a highly domesticated and highly cared for child in my family, or rather pampered child, I would say, <laughs> to a certain extent. So when I had gone there, my parents had their own anxiety as to how she will stand on her own feet, away from family, in a completely new environment. And when they came to meet my teachers and my director there, I remember one sentence that my director had conveyed to my parents. He said that we are grateful to God for the blessing that your daughter is to us. And I feel that it was not a statement that was made on account of any glory that I possessed at that point of time, but it just showed the magnanimity and the attitude of that institution towards every single person whom they took into their fold. And I hope and pray and wish that every child who enters that institution today, especially our dearest children from Manipur, all of you truly turn out to be a blessing to each one of us here and to the entire world around. And this is your chance to grow and to give the world back. For that is the only way in which we deepen our sense of living and discover the purpose of our living in this life ahead. When I talk about our sense of living and the purpose of our living, especially in this environment, I'm reminded of the book called The Hiding Place. Has anyone of you read that book, The Hiding Place? It's a rather, you know, previous generation book, I would say, not very popular in today's era, probably. Um, Hiding Place is a book by a wonderful woman called Cori Ten Boom. Cori Ten Boom and her family were one of those extraordinary families in the Nazi hit Germany, who actually gave a board to a lot of young people 
who would have otherwise ended up themselves in the concentration camps. She talks about her experiences of struggle, of hardship, yet the courage to be able to give the shadow to those in need. There is one aspect of the book, or rather one message in the book, which has always stayed on with me. She says that every person, I might be paraphrasing it a bit, but she says that every person who goes through the process of healing has got something in common. Every person who goes through the process of healing has got something in common. Can anyone guess what is that or what could be that? We all go through struggles. We all grow out of it. We all heal ourselves out of it, right? And she beautifully explains what that common factor is. What do we all go through when we all get healed? She says, every person who goes through healing has got a hurt that he forgives. Every person who goes through the process of healing has got a hurt that he forgives. And I think that is the most important aspect in life when we talk about healing. Healing does not come when there is ample care and love provided to you from outside. Healing comes from the strength to forgive the hurt that you have gone through which grows from within. And the only thing that anybody from outside can actually provide you is to give you that fertile soil to grow. And that is exactly what this family is giving you here right now, that fertile soil to grow. She also talks about, you know, she draws akin to a tree that withstands all the weather that gets thrown at it without being broken. But if at all a tree has a choice to withstand the storms, all that it does is to deepen its roots, she says. Just like a tree that withstands the storms by deepening its roots and strengthening its connections with its environment. May you all be able to deepen your roots in faith and humanity and nurture the sense of interconnectedness that each one of you have with all of us out here. And here is to all of you to celebrate your entry and your homecoming amidst us. We all stand together, united and in joy to help you provide the strength to garner your inner force, nurture it in prayer as well as kindness to help you forgive the hurt that you may have gone through in life. And that is the only way that each one of you will complete the process of healing and turn out to be healers yourself. Once you have healed yourself, the next process would be to give that kind of care and healing to others. And that is what the wonderful people out here, led by our beloved Metropolitan, has been doing. And I hope and pray that each one of you grow into wonderful human beings, just the way you are now, with more power to heal and to be healed. This is a place where each one has a voice and I hope that your voice gets heard not just in Tiruvalla or in Patanamthitta or in Kerala but across the country. May you be the beacons of hope.
to the entire nation and the world across at this point of time. When we are going through struggles as a nation and as a country, it's important that we have glowing beacons of hope to be able to give people a new ray of light in the days to come. And I'm very hopeful that this act of kindness and this gathering of celebration here brings in that much required hope and light to the lives around us. I would like to hear more from you all rather than you sitting and listening to us. So, you know, before we wrap up this gathering, if any of you could speak to us, there would be nothing like it. Would you like to? I know you're not prepared for that, so <laughs> probably next time we could. Should we sing a song together then? Will you sing? Yes? <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> okay, great. So I'm told that you're going to be singing and dancing along as well after this. So I hope and pray that the celebration doesn't confine itself to this day alone, but every single day in your life may it turn out to be a celebration of peace and of love and pave way for healing for you and for others. My heartiest congratulations and my respect to each and every individual who have been associated with this act of kindness and love and generosity. May your good work continue and continue to throw light and spread light across the people who come in front of you. So thank you so much for having me around here and may this be a wonderful day and a wonderful start to many great things that would come along. <laughs>